So now that you see my save file here, it says clear. A few things open up for you. And we're gonna, we're gonna go over them now. Alright, so the first thing is we're gonna get uh, a very broken ring. And it's, it's great. You're gonna love it, trust me. So you're already halfway here. What we need to go is to the Coliseum. So I will meet you at the Coliseum and I'm gonna show you which enemy to farm. I'll be right back. All right, guys. It wasn't actually, I got confused. I thought it was the Coliseum. I mean, the, the reverse Coliseum, it was just a regular Coliseum. Or the reverse outer wall, which is this area where you fought the creature. I'm just gonna hit the save point real quick here. I also picked up a few weapons along the way that were pretty cool. Let me show you. First one I picked up was this uh, this Morn Blade, right? It says it feeds upon souls. So what it does is when you attack stuff, it kind of works like a like a soul steal or a dark metamorphosis. The other one I picked up was his iron fist here. So it's just like brass knuckle, but if you do a quarter circle, and that goes on for a while, it's pretty OP. All right, so let's put our Sager. Okay, and it's that enemy. We gotta kill him a lot and he's gonna drop a very good ring for us so I'm gonna kill him repetitively over and over until I get the drop and I'll cut back to what I have it all right Got the first one. We're gonna get two of them because they're just that good. So let's go back to the grinding. Never mind. I got both already. That was pretty quick. Let's go hit the safe point here. And I'll show you how good this is. Okay, let's just get our normal equipment up first. Where is my good Alucard shield? There it is. And my walk armor. And before I had this down here. Okay, so the first thing you want to look at is this. Look at my stats on the right side. So from if I just if I just get rid of this item. Boom. Boom. So the first one will give me thirty. Strength, ten constitution, thirty intelligence, and five luck. My attack goes up by thirty, and my defense goes up. Let's equip that. But let's get a little more broken. Equip all of that now. I got plus 74 to my strength, plus 40 to con, 65 to intelligence, and 20 to luck. I'm pretty pretty OP right now. So before, let's see. I was using the Alucard sword. And it took me two hits. It was only like 66 damage or so, give or take. Let's see how much it does now. Hmm. Woo! 
don't know if that was him or me, but... Oh, yeah, that was definitely me. And another one! Wow, they're pretty generous with that today. But, yeah. That was it. Uh... Yeah. The next thing we're gonna want to do is a money glitch. And I'll show you how to do that. But in order to do that, we need to get to the librarian. So, let's meet up over there, and we'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we're back. Uh, in order for you to do the infinite money glitch, you need to know how to do the Sword Brothers technique first. So let me show you how that's done. What you have to do is you have to do down, down, forward, forward, up, forward, up for two seconds like you're charging it. Immediately go down and attack. It'll look like this. Wait. Up. Down. One more time. Hmm. There we go. He does his thingy. And he blows everything up. In case you didn't get it the way I explained it, here's how it looks like by the spell. The up. The, the reason it's red means you need to hold it down for about a second or two. Alright, now that we've done that, here's what we gotta do. We gotta do the infinite money. The infinite money glitch. Let me just pick up a shield. <laughs> so, here's what you do. You need to know that spell and do it in here. Because if you notice, when you get to the bottom steps, right here, what can I do for you? he'll prompt you to talk. Now. We don't want him to do that for us. So we'll, we want to prompt it ourselves. So here's how you do it. You do the glitch. One more time. Now we go up to him. And press up to talk to him. Go to sell gym. Obviously we want to make the most money, so we're going to sell our diamonds. Sell all but one. So you sold two, <laughs> Thank you. that says zero, now you can hit start, and you can go to start menu. Normally you can't do that. So from here, we just go and equip our last remaining one, diamond. And then the important part is to hit start, not circle or anything else, but start. And then we sell the last diamond that we have equipped. Now you can get out of here. I press triangle, by the way. You go to equip menu. You notice we got 255 diamonds. Guess what we're gonna do with those diamonds? What can I do for you? I'm interested. We're gonna sell them. Where can we go? Thank you. And kiss the summer. Thank you. Okay. So we've hit the max for money, I believe, right? Yep. That's the max for money. What can I do for you? I'm interested in this. I want to buy. I'm interested in this. The duplicator. In fact, I'm just gonna buy everything I don't have. Uh, I got the money, so why not? We <laughs> plenty to spare. So yeah, the one reason we're here is because we want the duplicator. <laughs> Thank you. We buy another one, actually. We don't need to. Uh, ooh. I have to. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just gonna buy the rest of the things I need because I just want to have them in my inventory because I'm a completionist like that. Uh, and then I will meet you back at the uh, the place where we haven't explored on the map yet. It's on the reverse castle. It's uh, the reverse catacombs. Not the reverse catacombs, but it's the area past death. And I'll show you once I get there. Alright, let me just go buy stuff.